without data, you have no compass, you have no gyro, you don't know where you're going. So there's multiple points of data. Quality data, obviously is important. Financial data, definitely important. Productivity data, I, I gotta have. Because if I can tie productivity and cost and quality together, that tells a really good story. This idea of having wearables and uh, et cetera, this is very nice, but it poses a great challenge to the hospitals. Why? Because at the sudden you have hundreds or thousands or millions of data coming to the hospital and it's very difficult to stratify and to understand how we are taking and analyze the data. When I really think about treatment and the actual procedures or operations that patients will undergo at an institution like ours, I always think of the, the question, is everything that we need to know, you know, at our fingertips right there and then? Medical data is becoming the most valuable data in terms of um, cybersecurity and um, personalized information. It's not about the amount of data, but it's about the, the understanding of the information that we get out of the data. And that's where I think we at Philips can really support. We really allow data to combine in a very seamless way and to assist where, where things become complicated. It goes beyond checklists, it goes beyond guidelines. It's really interpreting the vast amount of data that is out there, but in a way that is more personalized to the patient and allows for real predictive measures. So uh, the quality of the treatment, thankfully, remains at a satisfactory or above satisfactory level. But the time to get the treatment and the stress that, that it causes to the whole team is immense because we have to give more with the less. There's a massive premium on efficiency and scheduling and avoiding downtime and trying to provide the optimum clinical care in the most efficient manner. So I think as a, again, as leaders and as people who manage these types of teams, we have to continue to be thoughtful of how can technology, how can thoughtful selection of the infrastructure around us help us to, to avoid those day-to-day -day annoyances, if, uh, for lack of better terms, that really become a nuisance in, in our operational um, aspects. If you think of the daily work of um, the care team, for example, in a hospital, there are a lot of complex workflows. So just by simplifying these workflows, making them easier to understand, we add a huge amount in terms of patient safety and we're simplifying the mental burden that is on, I think, every healthcare professional. In the cardiovascular space, we're seeing increases in conditions associated with natural aging and perhaps other changes associated with lifestyle and development in the West. Perhaps, for example, the development of more in the way of diabetes, metabolic syndromes related to obesity and body fat, and the associated vascular changes with these conditions can present specific challenges to interventions in the cardiovascular space. This need to adapt the organization of the system to this epidemiological transition that we are facing in the care of patients with cardiovascular disease. So you need to rethink, restructure even the way on how we organize the teams, how we uh, organize the units, installations, etc. You've got to have a partnership with physicians, industry, and administration because we're all juggling the same stuff operationally. You know, how do we provide the best product out there at the best price with the highest quality that's available? So at Philips, I think we have a unique opportunity to help healthcare providers and payers, but also consumers by really looking at the healthcare continuum in a very holistic way. We have the capability of going from healthy living, people at home, over to prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and back to home care if needed. I know some other companies say that they do co-creation, but they don't really go deep in co-creation. And I think it's a humble way of Philip seeing itself. Once being a health tech provider, a very big health tech provider, but at the same time, understanding that we at Philips do not know it all. <laughs>
and that we really need the clinical input very early. Those that are as forward-thinking as we are, they really enjoy co-creating with us, and I think that's how we really move the needle.